Welcome to the second part of our Hetzner DDoS protection series. In this video, we want to give you some detailed information about our free DDoS protection system. To help recognize attacks as they reach the data center, we use hardware from Arbor. Juniper switches then communicate with Arbor hardware so that attacks are rerouted. When an attack is recognized, it is rerouted to a part of the network where it can do no damage. That is what I, as a network technician, see on a daily basis. The image shows data for a single address. You can see the alert traffic, meaning the recognized DDoS attacks. We define 200,000 packets per second as what is the limit for normal activity. If an attack is higher than that, our technicians will monitor the situation. In this attack you can see that it reached 933,000 packets per second. See max impact of alert traffic. Which is why the attack had a high severity level. This system also recognizes the type of attacks. This one included an TCP SYN attack and an ICMP attack, which are shown with the blue lines. The red line in the chart shows the DDoS traffic that was filtered out by our system. This is also called drop traffic. Our network technicians analyze images like this to see how effective our DDoS protection is and to improve it in the future. Since DDoS attacks constantly change, it is very important for our technicians to monitor them. However, the longer our DDoS protection system is in place, the more it will learn about attacks and the better it will be at blocking them. Our system enables us to clearly distinguish between valid traffic and malicious attacks using three different layers of protection. In addition to recognizing an attack based on the amount of traffic or the number of packets, we at Hetzner Online will be able to clearly define the actual attack and then to specifically home in on and react to that particular type of attack. For example, a UDP flood with 500,000 packets per second is harmless for a server. A 500,000 SYN packet, however, could pose a problem. Our DDoS protection tools can detect precisely this type of difference. This method allows us to effectively filter out the most commonly known attacks by putting them through traffic scrubbing filters. The method is especially successful at scrubbing out the following types of attacks. DNS reflection, NTP reflection and UDP floods on port 80. In this final layer, we filter out attacks in the form of SYN floods, DNS floods and invalid packets. We are also able to flexibly adapt to other unique attacks and to reliably mitigate them. We can improve the system by analyzing each attack and constantly adjusting our filters and responses. DDoS protection does not cause costs or prices to increase and is available to all customers. Our system detects DDoS attacks at all times and its ability to recognize them will continually improve. Once an attack is recognized, the dynamic DDoS protection tools will immediately go into action and filter out the attack. Your traffic is usually not affected by the DDoS protection system due to its dynamic method of mitigating attacks. Thanks for watching. See you next time.